guys, you caught me. I am having a spa day while I'm supposed to be working. Please don't tell. But today, don't you worry. Don't be green with envy. You too can look this beautiful. I am going to show you how to make a spa facial mask. So let's whip it up. I am going to show you how to make a spa facial mask. It really is very simple. Um, I've already weighed everything out. I have 224 grams of kale and clay. Kale and clay is a gentle clay, great for sensitive skin. It helps control oily, oiliness by removing excess oil from the skin and it cleans the pores. Kale and clay is also a natural exfoliator and detoxifier. So it's also going to help soothe rashes and irritation. I have dandelion root powder, 32 grams. Dandelions are a rich source of beta carotene. Dandelions are known to have strong antioxidant capabilities that can prevent aging. Dandelion is reported to reduce inflammation and irritation. It also increases the skin's collagen production. Dandelion may also help prevent certain types of acne. Next, we have carrot powder. Carrot powder is used in natural formulations because it repairs and tones the skin. It reduces wrinkles and scars, improves circulation, increases elasticity, and provides the skin with beta carotene, which is an antioxidant. And we have spirulina powder. Spirulina is a blue-green algae that is high in chlorophyll. Spirulina provides an abundance of vitamins and minerals like vitamin A, vitamin B12, vitamin E, natural beta carotene, calcium, phosphorus, and iron. In cosmetics, it's used to nourish the skin, the hair, and the nails. All we're really going to do is mix everything together. Once we have everything added to the bowl, we're just going to mix everything up and break up any clumps that we find in the mixture. Okay. So once we have everything mixed together, all of our powders, we're going to add a little bit of vitamin E. We're simply gonna add maybe about 24 drops of vitamin E oil. Then once again, we'll mix everything together. Okay, now that everything is mixed up, you can take and uh, add these to jars. Once you have them in your jars, you can package them with little bottles of vegetable glycerin and sell them that way. The great thing about doing it that way is you don't have to add a preservative. Um, so once you get them all packaged, you can mix them as you need them. So now I'm going to show you how you would mix your facial mask. And the great thing about this is you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. Um, I'm starting with about two tablespoons of water. And adding to that about half a teaspoon of vegetable glycerin. And just about a tablespoon of your powdered mixture. And then all you need to do is mix it all together. If you find that it's a little bit too thick for you, you can add a little more water if it's too thin you can add a little more powder. So you can kind of customize it to what you like. And then once you have everything mixed together, you will simply apply a thin layer to your face, let it harden, and then wash it off with some warm water and a washcloth. Now, if you do want to package this pre-mixed, you will need to add a uh, preservative like Optifin. Uh, Optifin has a rate of about 1% for the usage. All right, there you have it. It is that simple. I'm going to go ahead and run and get back to my spa day. We hope that you enjoy your day. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Also post pics, tag us on Instagram at NGSense. If you make your mask, we love to see your pics. All right, bye guys.